Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to make some real horror money? Sit back, relax and watch. Now here's your host, Mormo Zine. Hello friend, Mormo Zine here. Today we're doing a horror cash episode. We're going to look at some MLM training videos. And uh, this is really exciting to me because I just recently joined an awesome MLM and uh, they have a great recruitment film and uh, I really enjoyed it. I think you'd enjoy it. But right now, an MLM is basically multi-level marketing and some people call it a pyramid scheme where you get like people to sign up under you and then they you get paid from them. And then they get people to sign up under them and you get paid from all of them. And you build a down, what's called a downline of people who signed up under you. And then in my program, you get paid by each person in your downline five levels deep. And uh, it's really awesome. I'm really stoked. If you have any questions about it, just ask me or just go visit the website. And, uh, but anyways, here's the first video we're going to check out now. The tweaking and juggling of something called algorithms to get a higher ranking. It's the words people use to search that really affect your rankings. Why? They get side A through D, etc. Yup, free. The effectiveness index is the ranking of words used by people when they search for product 8. What really happens is this, people go to search for something, be it cars, handbags, or home business opportunities, and they type certain search words into the browser. Yes, there are other things that affect the rankings, but by and large it's a pretty basic little old word or two that kicks off the whole thing. How does that relate to me and article marketing? By the way, your article will fit into a niche that you get to pick. To other websites, blogs, and e-zines for free. As a result, because the words they used to search are prominently used on those sites, either in the meta tags at the top of the page, something you cannot see, or they are used in your copy, most often the top 25 words as that is what the engines typically crawl because in return you get to include a short bio and links back to your site in the resource box that appears at the end of your article. Article marketing means you provide something you've written, on marketing, home business opportunities, training, etc. MLM and article marketing. When you think about search engine rankings, you usually think of search engine optimization, SEO. So if you want to write about team building or blogging, then your site link should lead back to a site that most directly relates to your topic. First of all, SEO is highly overrated and has been made way too complicated. Okay you're thinking, so what? This is so easy you'll be delighted, because anyone can do this effectively. Okay friends, so as you can see the videos got a little messed up this time. This, they're all out of order, but you can kind of get the basic point of the video. It's talking about SEO, and that's where you write blog posts, and you put keywords in them, and you try and get them ranked on Google so that when people search <clears throat> for things on Google, you can you know, they can come across your article. And uh, uh, it's also talking about article marketing, which is kind of an outdated uh, form of marketing. I don't know that it really works anymore, but blogging definitely works. And blogging search engine optimization, you just write your blog so that it'll show up in search and you do keyword research so that uh, 
your article will show up in search and I guess that's a good way to get people to your home-based opportunity or your MLM. You can write articles about your MLM and about recruiting people and general tactics and then put a link in your blog post to your MLM opportunity. And so let's go ahead and watch the second video now. Those who designed software got into the mix and came up with even more ways for people to publish their own blogs. Send your blog link to existing customers, potential customers, your team, even others in Europe and down lines. You can also add pictures, product descriptions, and yes, even comments from other people. Just so you don't get confused, stick to the term blog, rather than the other alternative web blog as it means a server's lot files. Blogs and blogging mushroomed rapidly until it was almost impossible to keep up with them. There doesn't seem to be much that isn't covered as a topic for a blog, so why not jump in with both feet and blog about your business and how to be a successful MLM marketer. Blogs have been around since early 1997, but really took off in popularity when automated publishing systems were introduced, i.e. Blogger at Blogger Calm What a tremendous vehicle for telling people what you are doing, how you are doing it and all about your team and training. Call it the reality TV of the internet. MLM and blogging for business. Welcome to the wonderful world of blogging, the frequent, usually chronological publications of personal thoughts and web links. The history that's important for you to know, because it directly relates to what you can do with your blog, is that original web blogs were link driven. Today's blogs are also link driven and there is your key to the success of your MLM marketing blog. Seek out unusual links, interesting links, teaching links, and learning links for your blog, and add your own review or commentary to them. Often a mixture of what is happening in a person's life and what is happening on the net. By 1999 there were 23 in existence, but it didn't stay that way long. You'd be surprised at the exposure you'll get so long as your blog is well done and doesn't come across like one large advertisement for your business. Alright, so this video was talking about blogging and MLM. And it was saying you could blog and then share your posts to your upline and your downline about recruiting more people. And... Uh, and this is really interesting because one of my good friends is starting a blog and asked for my advice. So I looked up some information for her and emailed it to her. And uh, yeah, blogging is a real great thing. You can also get traffic through social media, which is something this video didn't talk about. But uh, definitely set up a blog. I just set up a blog not too long ago for a website that uh, ended up getting blocked on Facebook. They called it an abusive site. I didn't, for what reason, I don't know. But anyways, blogging is great. You should definitely blog about your opportunity and then you can get traffic to your blog at different places. And then that'll send traffic to your opportunity. And uh, let's go ahead and watch the next the next and last video now. Why would you want to tweak your PLR articles? And that's a good thing, as it means your articles will be unique. In short form, PLR articles allow you to make another author's work yours by changing its content. Just one last bit of information you will need to know about using PLR articles, you definitely do need to change them after you have bought them. MLM and Private Label Marketing Private Label Rights, PLR, marketing might be just the perfect solution for you for your MLM needs. Among other things, PLR articles are a fairly new creature to the net. That could vary from writing an introduction paragraph or editing the title, to completely modifying it any way you want and adding your name as its creator. Better to be safe than sorry and find your site zapped or banned.
it's pretty difficult to research and write the number of articles you'd need and still run an MLM business. Remember that the more original your article is, the better long-term results you'll have for your MLM site and business. You need fresh, new articles on a weekly basis, content to update your site, and PLR is a good way to add relevant, creative, search engine friendly content to your MLM website. You will also want to change their tone, and add your own personality to them. It really doesn't matter what approach you take to reworking your PLR article, it's a lot easier to work with an existing article than it is to start a brand new one from scratch. This is to avoid duplicate content and the search engine filters that are now starting to gang up on duplicate content offenders. Just what are PLR? You would for the simple reason that most of them will not have been written with any particular keyword in mind, so it's up to you to fix it so the search engines will find them. All right, so this video talks about something that I've never talked before on, on YouTube, and that's PLR. It's been a big secret I've been keeping because it's something that I use a lot, and it's when you buy the private label rights to something, you buy <coughs> the rights to articles or to an ebook, and then you can use them in your own marketing. And this was saying it's really important to rewrite them and stuff, and so, uh, that's what you should do is rewrite the PLR and you can find them for free. These articles I found for free. I just searched free MLM PLR articles and found some place where I could easily download them. I downloaded them to my tablet and then I attached it to an email and emailed it to myself and then just got on the laptop and uh, opened up the email and downloaded the zip file. And now there's like 25 MLM articles and they're all pretty piss poor. And then these ones came out even worse because I made the videos wrong where the sentences are all out of order and it doesn't even make sense. But uh, what are you going to do? Hey, I think it's quality entertainment. That's why I love making these videos because these are the kind of videos that I watch in my personal time the most when I go to bed I'll watch a couple hours worth of make money online videos and on all different topics and uh, I really love it and uh, but this video this last video was talking about PLR and it's a great way to have the content and to have uh, basically instant content It's a big secret, and I haven't even mentioned it until now, but there you go. So, anyways, thanks so much for watching. Check out the website that's been scrolling at the bottom. Please comment, thumbs up, and uh, thanks again so much.